good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, it is. I'm trying to, uh, I don't even know. Anyways, good morning. It's Terrific Tuesday. It's Terrific Tuesday, and I feel. Hey, Shade and family. Oh my goodness. It's Terrific Tuesday. The, the photographers photos are coming back good morning baby girl love y'all and jeremiah is just so absolutely adorable and felicity i can't believe oh my goodness it just seems like i haven't seen them in forever they are so big on saturday but it's terrific tuesday which is our be like giving tuesday which each and every week of each and every month of the year we challenge you to can you hear me fine, Shade? My voice is trying to go. I am on vacation, but I still have to do lives. But each and every um, Tuesday we do, we challenge you to donate a minimum of $7 to our cause. And so we are super excited and super thankful and super glad for all that has come about our annual childhood cancer 5k was absolutely amazing everyone who showed up showed out supported shared whatever it was that you did to help us to get this event up and going it was absolutely phenomenal so i wanted to jump in because the pictures from the photographers are coming in and i was up just um, scanning through um, the photos last night. I think we have over 200 between the two photographers that out of the three, so 200 good pictures that we have. And then I'm not even sure the, the third photographer is. Um, he just grabbed a flash drive from me today to load the stuff that he has on so I'm not sure I'm quite sure he has tons of pictures too so just so thankful to see the day unfold just so thankful to see all the beautiful pictures Shade thank you for Aroma the collection Alana was one of the first time event people and she just ran it and raved about you on Sunday she actually joined our 40 plus double dutch team she is i mean i when i say her sister has this spirit that just bubbles over with love joy and everything she as well has that same spirit so she came out on sunday and she was um enjoying herself but she just talked about aroma the collection so so glad to connect people together that's what it's all about with businesses and organizations just amazing to connect people together so um she came out with her sister we connected her with you all not knowing that that's what the products that she needed and then our double dutch team some of our ladies was there and so she connected with us so it's just like one big happy circle good morning sister oh my goodness the pictures of you and my baby and your niece I said, how you get in with Auntie Lisa? And she was like, me and, she was like, me and Lisa. I said, that's Auntie Lisa. Get a handle on it. I said, nobody takes more pictures with Auntie Lisa than her sister. That's my sister. But anyway, the pictures were absolutely beautiful. Um, I saw the pictures in front of the banners. I saw pictures walking. I saw just pictures of people engaging and having an amazing time. And that's what it's about, coming together, being unified. I absolutely, absolutely have been overwhelmed and so with all the love and support that we've received in any capacity of this journey and just to be embracing and embarking on this eighth year, which is with the, which is the number for new beginnings it has just been phenomenal for me so for every entity every person every business whatever it is i can i'm on vacation you know that and my i'm, I'm actually headed back in but um i just came from donating 
remember I tell y'all we don't ask you all to do what we don't do and you know I'm anemic so my hemoglobin is actually a little lower than it typically is but for the cause um, be the match uh, one blood plasma uh, whatever it is um, donate life um, um, organ organ and tissue donations be a part of something great give back to those who uh, will never be able to repay you and so those are things that if you're not financially stable and you can't provide financial assistance to different organizations try being a donor a loyal donor to um, blood products and and if you have not um, taken out a will or on your driver's license has that you're an organ donor consider it it's a blessing don't let your stuff go to the ground with you when someone can use those vital organs and tissues to um, make make their life a little bit healthier a little longer and so yeah my voice has been going since yesterday i did rest yesterday we did i did sleep most of the day and then we went out and got in the pool and then i came back and i looked at pictures um, and like i said the pictures are absolutely beautiful just to see the smiles on everybody's faces to see the goofiness we, that some of us was doing um just uh, it, it it just overwhelms my heart so definitely definitely excited about that so i said let me jump on live real quick and um, just say again thank you because it's our uh, Be Like Giving Tuesday and because it's Terrific Tuesday, I feel terrific even though I might not sound terrific. I feel terrific. <laughs> and, I, and I'm so thankful for um, just, just the journey that we are on. Who would have known that I would take the baton and run this race of childhood cancer awareness and beyond. I have started my vision for uh, year eight and beyond so i'm thankful for that i'm writing it down i'm old school pad and paper notebook and so i am writing things down getting things together my daughter is here um, the one that lives out of state and so she's here and we're going to um, tackle this day together to get things done and finalized we are looking for um, potential business partners that will partner with us just like we already have um, personal and business supporters to um, support us. We're looking for grant writers. We're looking for um, car dealerships or somebody who can actually sponsor us so each and every year uh, we can provide souvenir things. Uh, we were talking about the medals. Our first year we did do, our first two years of the race we did do medals. We did um, the the begin the person who won who came in first the person who came in last and then some other medals we did just um different medals that we did so we want to get back into that for 2022 and beyond we have already booked the date we had the date for our 2022 booked for um july the 23rd 2022 before the 5k even came and we may have to switch out 2023 because that would mean if next year is the 23rd the 2023 would be the 22nd and that would be caleb's actual birthday so um we might have to tweak that that year 2023 but that's way ahead of us but um, yeah, we want to, we're intentional about a lot of things. If you are um, administrative and you know how to write proposals and things of that nature, we're um, looking to partner with some people where we can do proposals. We will start going out to the um, weekly business to business meetings that, that are at Gas, Gatsby's each Wednesday, but we will only um, attend once a month. Um, weekly is a little overwhelming for us because we have so much other things that we have going on. So August, the first Wednesday in August, we will be at Gatsby's at the business, the um, Black Business um, event. And then in September, we I will start sharing those today and tomorrow. We have our Lake Eola, Lake Nona, Lake Lake, um, not Lake Eola, Lake Nona, and our Orlando Eye event. And then we have our um, 
flag football tournament in Apopka. So right now we have four events, three where we will bring awareness to childhood cancer. The fourth one, we will be a vendor as well as bringing awareness to childhood cancer. And then we'll start going out to the different farmers markets. So if you know a farmers markets anywhere, the times and the dates, we're going to um, start writing those down, getting those, um, getting those locations so that we can go out. If you would like to partner with us and come out to farmers markets or get some of our stuff and, and go hand out to um, places where you go but we want to be intentional about reading about meeting new crowds and new people and so that's our goal for um, um, going forward starting in September we will be going we may do farmers markets in August it just depends on how um, life is going but we want to do farmers markets and, and things at the pop-up shops and things of that nature go out and get people's information their business cards if they're on Facebook or Instagram it's definitely easier for us to share it if it's on Facebook or Instagram because we just shared from our page from their page to our page and so we want to partner with those who who um, are determined to make a difference in the lives of others no matter whether it's childhood cancer or uh, sickle cell or asthma or HIV or uh, breast cancer any of the different diseases prostate cancer ovarian cancer lung cancer liver cancer brain cancer whatever it is as long as you are committed to raise awareness we want to partner with you if it's a non um, what do you call it if it's a for-profit my brothers um, own staffing agencies in Tampa and one of them have has a staffing agency here and so we've partnered with him recently to just get the advertisement if you were at the event you have the information in your bag your giveaway bag don't just leave it there take a picture of it and post it on your um, social media pages so people will see um, that there's um, jobs out here available for so many people who have not been working or people who say they can't find a job there's jobs out here unemployment and all those supplemental things that have been going on it's not going to last forever so please 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 make sure you're sharing um as we say you dare to care and you share about the things that are going on in the land in the community because it's so important i want to give a shout out i want to give a shout out to commissioner bakari burns and his assistant jason for taking it um taking time out of their day and they did have another event on saturday to come out and support us to register for the event to come out and do the run with us but uh, even before they registered, we've partnered together in business meetings to talk about things that are going on. The park is in District 6, and so what a, what, what a beautiful park it is, first and foremost. So definitely he has a beautiful um, uh, park in his district, and so we want to be intentional with these relationships that we have with commissioners and mayors and, and, and pastors and churches and things of that nature. So we have a vision. We've always had a vision but we add on to that vision each and every year so we are we're actually looking for team members and team members meaning volunteers for when we do have to go out for childhood cancer awareness or when we do have to go out and be a vendor somewhere you can come out you can be educated first about how to work the table and then you can come out and support us so we're looking for um, volunteers that are have a heart to help and it doesn't have to be a, um, a, a, um, a trade that or something that you know about childhood cancer. But we're looking for individuals that have a heart to help. When you have a heart to give and a heart to help, then everything else just comes together. Um, learning different things about childhood cancer or what we do or who we are and how we do what we do is definitely, definitely um a, an amazing thing to know but when you have that heart to give and support then it just it just multiplies that that um that need and so uh, we will definitely be also um doing care packages getting set up to do our care packages going forward we have enormous amounts of, of gifts 
from one of our sponsors, Classy Couture Fashions in Orange City. I always tell her, I, I try to do a plug for her. It's 1209 Saxon Boulevard, Suite Number 9 in Orange City. She has been an amazing blessing to our organization, giving us brand new clothes and toys and blankets and pillows and stuff for kids. So we want to start um, putting those things together. We have my director who has, has a vision um, to what we can do. And so we're working to put those things together. So even if it's when we're getting ready to do care packages and drop them off, then it'll be a blessing to have volunteers to help. Even if you're just, you know, riding with us and helping us to deliver the items. But so, 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 so thankful for today um, to be able to say thank you for everyone who supported us. Thank you for those who continue to jump on and do our um, our BGTs, our Be Like Giving Tuesdays, as well as thank you for those who have joined us. If you go on our website, if you um, hit the donate button, and the donate button is just that, when we register for the 5K, if you're paying on our website, it's simply the donate button. We're not gonna have a but. We're not gonna change the button on the website for everything that we do. So even though you're registering for the 5K or you registered for the 5K, um, it's still a donate button. So you select donate and you pay the you pay the, the amount that's required. You pay the amount that's required, and then um, it's just that. So we're we have on the donate button. If you've been on our website, if you've ever donated via our website, we currently have an option where you can select. Let me look at it, actually. I'm trying to see what it says. Okay, so if you're on our actual website, be like foundation.org. Turn that off. I turned the air conditioner off. <laughs> hey, good morning, Pat. How are you? My voice is trying to my voice is trying to go, but I'm keeping I'm keeping it. So yeah, um, so if you're on our website, be like foundation.org, you would select donate, you would fill out your name, your address, and it's important to fill your address out because we can send things to you like the thank you cards that I write out for the 5K for all the people who attended and made donations and just were a blessing to us. So I do hand write my thank you cards out. So I'll be doing that this week as well. But when you get down to make a donation, it gives you different options that are you can just select or you can hit other and add in whatever amount. But then after you do that, it says, um, repeat this same contribution once a month beginning in 30 days or you can make a single one-time contribution so if you want to partner with us we do our seven we do our weekly seven dollar a week challenge but that's seven times four is uh oh seven times four is 28 is it what is it y'all I'm having a brain freeze, but yeah, seven times four is 28. So if you want to do, if you wanted to go on the website and do, um, and select donate and do a monthly and you want to do $28, you, that would be your, um, equivalent to your weekly BGT, our Be Like Giving Tuesday. Or if you just wanted to do it weekly, cause some of you do it cash app. Um, I don't think no one has done it Zelle or Zelle or PayPal, but most people have either done it via the website and, or, um, through cash app but if you wanted to do it where it sets it up automatically you can go on our website and you can do that if you wanted to make a donation we have people at all different levels we have people at a ten dollar level at a fifteen dollar level fifty dollar level seventy five dollar levels that um whatever the i'm just calling out numbers we have people that are donating monthly and so what a blessing that is because even right now you know when we do the actual event we embark to help new families and so we received like three applications already and i think one of them we received yesterday um 
one of them re re we received yesterday. So since we're on vacation, I haven't had time to open it up or look at it. But I know, you know, I can't say what kind of cancer it is, if it's a girl or a boy or the age. But I saw the application come in. And so um, I'm just over, I'm over, like I said, I'm overwhelmed with love and joy and just just honored for people to continue to be a blessing to us each and every um, month and it, even if it's not a donation coming in every single day I'm thankful for every month that we acquire um, the funds that we need and so this is why we are getting things together um, to make sure that we can continue doing what we need to do um, just to make things happen so like I said it's our it's our be like giving Tuesday it's terrific Tuesday we have the pictures um, from the pictures from the actual event on Saturday are coming through and so like I said I have not um, I have not went through all of them I skimmed through them I saw some um, I tried to um, screenshot some of them and try to send them to some people we have to like actually load them on load them up and so we can send some of those out please 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 like I said right now we're about at I, I can't count but I know we have at least 200 photos and so that's a lot of pictures to go through of course some of them are the same picture because the photographers were getting like as they were running or walking they were trying to get you know the different steps and so we will try to get some of you some of your pictures it's a lot of pictures to be going through and so that's why we create the scrapbook so we will have those memories we will load some of the pictures um we won't load the complete album of pictures but we will load um, some of the pictures up on our facebook page we have a 5k 2021 folder oh my boys i'm gonna need some hot trying to make sure the sun not trying to get me give me a minute okay you know it's florida and it's hot so we're trying to i'm gonna try to regroup so there we go so um yeah, we're gonna load we're gonna load the photos on our actual page on this page there's a photo already created for the 5k so we want to make sure that you see the event happening it was a absolute like i said it was absolutely amazing to see people come out to see people um, not just the old the people who have been with us from day one but all the new faces that we saw the smiles on everyone's faces like it was a perfect day. There was no issues. Well, we never have issues at our event, but there was no issues. Everything just went smoothly. We um, definitely enjoyed the Boy Scout Troop Pack 263, they said. The number's right there. One of my babies from church, he, he gets on me because I'm like, listen, I can't be remembering these numbers. But they came out and helped, and they were such a blessing. Not just them, the kids, but um, their, um, their scout leaders and all of that stuff. Everybody was just so gracious to help out. They were stationed in different areas. They worked. They, they, set, they helped set up. They helped break down just an amazing um, group of kids and it's nice it's nice to see respectable boys working for a cause and they were up early so they're learning how to do things and know that they're not getting paid for it their reward is so much bigger because of the help that they're given so kudos out to those guys their mentors their um their scout leaders and their parents for getting them involved in something that's so positive pat i promise you i will get your shirt out this is actually the shirt listen let me tell you a story about this shirt when you see the pictures <laughs> when you see the pictures on of uh, of the event all i'm going to say is <clears throat> i had a shirt we did not have extra shirts so I had a shirt at the event on my shoulder pad 
and some kind of way it fell. I didn't feel it fall and I ended up without a shirt. And so that's what those pictures are all about. And so today, <laughs> so I went through the stack of shirts and I found a shirt for me. And so I think these shirts came out absolutely beautiful. I don't even know where my mask is, hold on. They came out absolutely beautiful with the mask and the mask to match. The back of the shirts are just beautiful. The green is definitely popping like I needed to be. My pants that I have on are my pants that I have on are the childhood cancer gold. I can't show them to you. I'm not standing up, but they're the childhood cancer awareness gold and September is national childhood cancer awareness. I think you can actually see them in the glare of my glasses. I can see them. I don't know if you can, but the gold, the yellow, the yellow gold is what we use for awareness, but the mask and the shirts rock. They came out. The the shirts were done. The logos in the shirts were done by Freckle Feet, Freckle Foot Creative, and then the mask we just sent the logos to different people. And so the logo actually, again, is from Frecklefoot, but the masks are made, um, were created and designed by the Sock Gallery in the Oviedo Mall. And they're adjustable and they have the nose guard on it. And so they're really cool. And they're nice and breathable. And so that's a that's another, that that's a um, one thing about wearing masks, even with the hospital masks, that I've worn for years and years. Um, I'm trying to detach this phone. The mask that I've worn for years, I like the the feel of our mask, and so I t I definitely have one in every vehicle. I have one. I'm trying to get the glare off of me. I have one in every vehicle, as well as I have. Um, we have masks to sell. Our Black store. We have some sample um, shirts out for the event, and all, I think all of them were already sold, but I had brought them out. People had already ordered them and paid for them, but I brought the samples out, and it was one that wasn't sold, but they came in absolutely beautiful. I've got to take pictures of them and plug them in in the store um, that we already have pictures of, but they came out absolutely beautiful. When I say the colors um, radiate the ribbon just amazing so like I said I wanted to jump online to say our photos are in they're coming in we have one more photographer um, prayerfully he'll get the stuff loaded on today and we can meet up but right now I know we're at about 200 pictures from the event which is absolutely amazing to see the smiles on their face shout out to my cousin michael glover i love him so much because he just comes out and he makes he makes it happens and he was telling me um yesterday when he brought the the when we were talking he said well i can't say what he said but anyways it was it's like a family joke but he was like i just need i just need the family love <laughs> so i said you know I love you, so I had to give him the family love, and that's a that's a that's a that's a family secret that goes on with me. <laughs> you know, if you in the, you're not in the family, it's certain things from me you will not get ever. And so he he he's like, I need the family love, and so we were laughing. But he comes out every year. He's like, only year I missed was last year, and I said, well, we didn't really need you last year because although we were virtual. And, you know, it was a handful of us that went out to the park, but also, you know, that we did it virtual. We didn't we didn't necessarily need him to come out. Um, we just hung out and, and did the course and, and had an amazing and had an amazing event. But he is been a blessing to our organization since we reconnected. Um, he was doing um, some photos of some friends of ours that we grew up with. Well, he probably didn't, but that we grew up with from back home he was doing their wedding and so um, we reconnected and ever since he has definitely been trying to make sure that when the 5k comes around that he's there to support us so kudos I said 
how is it that every single year everybody gets a picture with me except for the cameraman and so i said just send me a picture of you so we can just you know so we can put it in our scrapbook but as well as so i can shout him out because he does amazing work and he started out somebody asked him about doing pictures because just like some of us we like to take pictures and they saw he had an eye for the pictures so he just used to take regular pictures regular photos just doing regular pictures of him his family and everything else and it just it just became it was a hobby for him just taking pictures but now it's actual business yes he has a full-time job like most people and um but he makes time for our organization and i tell anybody if you make time for this organization in honor of my son caleb um especially for those who did not know him it's a part of me it will, if if you're a part of me this organization is my is my life and my passion so it will always be a part of me so anything that you do for this organization will always be somebody said I made my little donation and I said no nothing ever is little when it comes to supporting this organ this nonprofit organization because for those who um, will spend money and do things on other things and then want to not support our cause then I don't I, I I think it's I think it's commendable or applaudable for people who don't know anything about the organization to say I want to be a part and I want to support so those who register those who donate those who share this live on our Facebook page whatever it is that you do it's so important to me in my heart because not just that I'm the president not just that I'm the CEO of this foundation but because it honors the life and the legacy of my son and I tell people all the time whether it's my kids my family whether it's strangers whether it's one of my good supporters who I can talk to about everything with the organization I don't I don't my reward from this having this organization is being a blessing to not just the families that we service with childhood cancer but families all over the land and country if you would have been at the event none of those people out there have been affected by childhood cancer but because we come together for support and unity that love and that giving spirit that we have it all just it just all just like i don't even know like something gooey we just all bond together and so that in itself is so amazing i don't pay a bill off of any of the funds that you donate i don't you i, I don't put gas in our cars i don't pay put uh i don't i don't pay insurances every single dime that you give to this organization stays within the organization it's it it, it 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 it's for the families that we service i can't stress it enough it's for the families that we serve as well as to take care of the needs of this nonprofit organization which are very minimum very minimum we have a home office because we don't want to spend funds that we that we raise that we I tell people I beg for seven dollars every Tuesday I'm on I'm on live begging for seven dollars every Tuesday so those seven dollars they add up but we don't want those funds to add up and then we're spending fifteen to two thousand fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars a month renting out office spaces that we can't afford and so we have a home office just for that purpose alone um, will we have to revamp one day and maybe maybe accept um income that's down the road when you know if we get grant when we get grants and stuff but all of your money your proceeds goes to continue to build this organization and to continue to support the families that have been affected by childhood cancer my team volunteers myself and my team registers for our annual childhood cancer 5k each and every year my team and i <laughs> we are monthly contributors to this organization so again we don't my team and i um we are we are advocates for blood donors like i was showing you i hate needles people say i hate needles i hate needles i hate getting stuck I hate anything that has to do with blood and all of that and yes i have a nursing degree and accounting 
but it's just certain things that I don't like to do, but because the cause is so worthy and it's not so worthy because it was my son. It's worthy because it's a worthy cause. It's worthy because childhood cancer is not rare and there's not enough people who care to talk about it. So that's why I'm so passionate about the support that you give. So when you give support to us, it's, 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 multiplied by the millions with me it's 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 multiplied by by because you don't have to be nice you don't have to be kind hey linda linda is like oh my goodness she's our captain for the double dutch um the 40 plus double dutch if you were out she brought i think it was nine of us that we have a total of 30 plus members but nine of us came out i'm um, saying us because I got kicked out of my own Double Dutch group picture. <laughs> they say, you don't have on a shirt. You don't have on the red shirt. You can't take the picture. I was like, I'm a part of this group. But Linda um, started this group in March. We So I'm, I'm one of the founding members. I'm excited, Linda. So we come out on Sundays from 4 to 6, and we have an amazing time. And I tell her all the time that... It's people like her, Wanda just jumped on. It's people like Linda and Wanda and my sister. And um, Bread of Life Ministries is one of our kudos to them. They're one of our um, Be Like Giving Tuesday um, people that they donate on Tuesdays. Um, but we have such a, a such a um, connection outside of Be Like. We met they we met through um, my cleaning service, and then we partner with the with the foundation so it's people like you guys who um keep us going wanda i saw some cute pictures of you girl like i can't wait to see the rest of the pictures i have to really look at them i was just skimming through them last night but you linda my sister lisa my daughter i was like oh y'all just jazzy jazzy those pictures are just beautiful so thank you for all that y'all do thank you for joining the live i have to do another one later but I was trying to get on because y'all see my voice is trying to just go. It, it does this every single year. I promise you, without without missing a beat, it does it every year. So, um, again, Linda, we got a good, good, the picture. I think somebody took it with your phone, but the picture that my cousin took of you and I was absolutely beautiful. And it's like things like that, that just really blessed my heart because uh, we're blessed to be a blessing every single day god gives us life it's terrific tuesday god gives us life and breath every day to get up and say how can i be a blessing to somebody else i always intentionally ask god in the morning to mind my mind and my mouth because i want to be intentional with the things that i'm thinking so so a man think if it is in his heart so i want to you know the things that comes out of my mouth i want to be uplifting i want to be encouraging i want to be a giver i want to support other people and in that i want people to support me back so if you support me there's nothing 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 that you can do with me meaning my organization my cleaning service my avon my books for avon didn't get in the bags because they didn't come to saturday afternoon but if you support me in any way there is hands down no way that i will I will that you can say that you asked me to do something and I didn't do it if I can't be there in person I'm definitely going to be there in spirit but I'm going to help promote it I'm going to help support it I'm going to do just like you do for me and so that's what um, being businesses and organizations is all about so thank you ladies for all the love for all the men um, one of our some people from my church of course my church is definitely always blessing us i literally haven't been to church in over 15 months and my pa preached on sunday at 7 30 service so i actually was at the church and spent time with my pastor my pa and um, reverend postel who was all um, annual sponsors this year and we took pictures and it's just amazing to just see how god continues to bless this organization so i know we are at year eight and we are in our new beginning so the doors that are already open that we're getting ready to walk through i'm super excited linda congratulations to to um wait i have to always say brianna first before i can say tiana <laughs> oh 
congratulations to having an Olympic baby. Tokyo, she's there, honey. Super proud of you as a mom. Super proud of her as a child. We are a track family. I ran track. My children ran track through school. Um, my son in college. So definitely an amazing. My granddaughter was actually watching track. She's on punishment. And I hope she's watching my live since she's always critiquing me. But she's critiquing me. But she's been watching the Olympics. Um, and I told her we were talking about the 100 meter and the incident that happened because that's her race as well. And she missed it here recently and she's on punishment for just some things that she's been doing and I said now you see the thrive of these Olympic people they've worked hard to get here when you're passionate about something you can't allow anything to make you fold there are days when I tell you my week the week up until the 5k if it wasn't people close to me or people who I cared about trying to distract me or the devil trying to use them to distract me to upset me I have to stay focused I know what the purpose is in my life and so I have to stay focused so you can't allow things to distract you so I'm glad your daughter is in Tokyo doing her thing no distractions and and we both know that I know losing a loved one is definitely great and I know um, with her having her parents by her side all these years and now being down one parent I know and I know it's a an emotional high and low um, for her but we're praying for her here I'm praying for you because I know you want to be in Tokyo, but I mean, we just have to support each other at all costs. So, um, like I said, thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody who makes it possible. Um, Wanda, I saw you sent the message, um, but you know I can't see it till I get in the office, so I'll get it. Um, I'm gonna bless somebody with them the, with the stuff I got, and then I'm gonna get some more because I need them for September. So I should have just bought them all on Saturday. But anywho, I'll get there. Linda, you're welcome. Thank you for starting the group. We are one. <laughs> we are one. I can't sing because my throat's scratchy. No matter what they say, we are one. And so um, safe travels as you all um, endeavor for the Devil Dunch Conference this week on Thursday through Sunday. I think you'll be gone. But Thank you um, for starting the group. I will always be a part of this group. I am, like I said, I'm a founding member. We're 30 plus something um, people strong. And then just the energy that we have. I sweat it like nothing else on Sunday. And I got a little bit of uh, ache from, you know, that side nerve that's been bothering me. But it was, we, we had a good time. I did not see a video of my double dutch. So my feelings was hurt because nobody recorded me as I was jumping, LOL, LOL, <laughs> but it's all good, uh, I guess I'll have to jump Sunday when y'all not here, but um, make sure you send me a message when um, y'all are live, and um, oh, I didn't see it, you're gonna have to send it to me, and yeah, when I, when I scrolled through it, it probably hadn't loaded yet, and you know, I haven't been back on since, so yeah, I'll see it, it, it might be a clipping of it, um, but yeah, um, I definitely have to go back and look because I tried to save it because my daughter always says, I don't see y'all double ditching. I don't see you jumping. And I don't, so she always gets on me. We're actually going cycling today, I think. She's always got an itinerary for me. But I think we're actually going cycling today. And so, <laughs> wish me luck on all of that. <laughs> it's vacationing and exercising. That's going to be my life. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. But, um, I'm going to jump off live. I need to eat. I just had a fruit cup today um, before I went and made um, my donation. Yes, I'm um, on vacation, but I'm not on vacation for the causes that I support. So One Blood and all of those different things are on my schedule. So I definitely have to. I know I love you so much, Shade. I'm telling you, I, I, I have to call you. And then for you, the, for you all that were out, we will be keep an eye out for your emails we have surveys we hadn't did them we didn't of course we didn't do it last year but the year before we didn't send them out but we'll be emailing you surveys um just asking i think it's about six questions where we want feedback and things of that nature but um i'm just I, i'm just overwhelmed with love i really am <laughs> because i never knew that 
answering yes to this cause and I tell my sister all the time I never when she when she spoke this three days before Caleb passed I said no I'm not doing it I that's 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 not in my future and that's, that's how I felt it was like that that's not in my future but look at God and how he has showed up and showed out and I tell people I can't expect for everyone in the world to support us but I expect the world to expect me to raise awareness of a childhood cancer and and so much more and so <laughs> thank you ladies thank you gentlemen thank you everybody who donates who supports and before i close our anniversary is actually on our founder's birth um birthday which was last week thursday on the 22nd so we have a facebook birthday fundraiser that's currently running from july the 22nd to august the 22nd we always do it for 30 days but we wanted to actually start it on his birthday and our anniversary this year since we were already embarking um deep into our 5k and so it's up it's up i will share it when i get off of live but oh my goodness um the fundraiser is raising funds i want to exceed we put it at 500 i think last year we had it at 600 but if it starts to go up if it starts to go up or it meets that capacity to 500 we'll rate we'll increase the amount but you don't we don't have to increase it just donate just donate to it hurt share it make sure you add a um it's um be like giving tuesday so challenge your friends on your page to do seven dollars to our cause um, one of our good families and Apopka, her friend's kids had cancer and she challenged the people on her page to donate $16 and I thought that was amazing because 16 because Caleb's Caleb's um, would have been 16 on Thursday and so she challenged all her uh, friends on her page to donate $16 and so I don't care if it's $2 I don't care if it's $5 I don't care what it is trust and believe that every dollar that we raise is such an amazing blessing um, one of our one of our bonus kids as he calls it um he came over last night and he donated um i tell people when you donate if it's a donation um he donated money and then i said you know what for your donation we gave him a shirt i mean and he looked nice in it, so I have to post him in it. He's he's grown man, grown man. Now he thinks he's, you know, these adult age children, they think they grown, but just amazing. Um, all of you who have shirts um from the event, from like this one, make sure you take a picture and send it to us. Tag us on our Be Like Williams page if you are friends on our page. But um email it to our um, email address. All of it is in our profile. But email us a picture of you and your shirt so we can post it um on our 5K. I mean, in our 5k folder but in our BLAC store or just on our page in one of our albums so people can see maybe I'll that's what I'll do I will his name is Norman and so um, Wanda I think we have some pictures of you on there too what I'll start I'll create a folder on this um, page on our main page that says be like supporters and so if you're in a mask or be like gear hat earrings whatever it is with your be like um, stuff on then we'll load you on our we'll load you on our um, in that be like supporter album it's amazing because one of my prayer partners she's forever taking pictures in one of her shirts um either her green shirt from um one of the events or one of her bling shirts any of that stuff so that's what we'll do if you have one of these shirts a bling shirt any be like gear that you have take a good picture a clear picture that we can see you like you can see me clear take a picture of it and then send it to us and then we'll put you in our be like supporters app we're going to create a be like supporters album so how cool will that be so thank you all for the love and support hey tasha um yeah your nephew just called so i called yeah, yeah. I called them this morning. They didn't answer to check on them, but I'm going to call them when I get off of live. But love y'all. I'll try to jump back on live a little later. Pray for me because my daughter, like I said, I think she about to take me cycling. She want to do lunch and cycling and she going to run me crazy these last 24. Nope. That devil is a lie. She going to run me busy for these last 24 hours that she's here. <laughs> she's trying to extend her stay. 
She's trying to extend her stay. I absolutely love when she comes home, but we can't keep her in Florida. We have to send her back to the ATL. I think she she flourishes better in Atlanta and Miami. We can't keep her in Orlando, so. Oh, I will jump on live later. Sade, I will call you in a few. I need to chat with you about some stuff anyways. Um, um, squeaky clean stuff. And then Wanda, I will chat with you. I'll see what your message is and I will chat with you. Everybody, thank you for joining the live. Pat, I can't see everybody that's on. And Lisa, um, uh-oh. Oh, no. Good morning to anybody I didn't say good morning to. Linda, you're more than welcome. It's um, it's just a blessing to just, like I said, just um, motivate, you know. And that's one of my things, too, since the 5K is over and we're winding down. One of my things is to get back in the gym five days a week. So um, um, just to continue to stay healthy and all of that stuff. So thank you for joining us. I will be doing calls, but keep up, um, posted for your... Um, emails we will be sending the surveys out once i get the final photos from the third photographer that was there at the event i will start um loading them on the album so i don't want to load some and then like some of the photographers they well two of them my cousin and the other photographer they were in the same place sometimes so I don't want to have to send like maybe one got a better picture than the other one or a closer up picture. The same picture, but maybe one is further back and maybe one is closer up. So you don't have to zoom it. I'm going to wait till that um, particular, that one. And, pr and just pray that he can get it loaded on and we can meet up maybe tomorrow sometime to pick it back up. But like I said, we have over 200, uh, at least 200 pictures right now. I know it's over 200, but I'm just going to say 200 pictures and they all are just absolutely a beautiful beautiful pictures to see the day unfold to see the smiles and the goofiness is you know all the things that we were doing the interactions and all of that stuff and so thank you again thank you for all of those who that y'all did not allow us to bring those raffle and silent auction items back honey Thank you, thank you, thank you. We got rid of every single item. Yay. And I tell people, I say, it's better to have too much than not have enough. And so we got rid of every single, every single um silent auction and raffle item. I have a little visitor coming. Hey, he probably me, don't have Noah. clothes on. It's me. Who is that? Me. Say hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> And so he, he acts like he's going swimming or something. He has his goggles on. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so I'll see you all live later um, after I finish this uh, uh, afternoon, morning, whatever we're about to do. I'm about to go get me some apple juice or orange juice and some hot ginger <laughs> and then eat something before we try to go hot cycling. Ginger. I want to eat hot You want to eat some hot ginger? Okay. You sure? Okay. grandsons <laughs> I have to get myself out of the trunk okay oh. come here come here you hit your nose he no, hit I hit my oh head. he hit his head he hit his head he hit his noggin it's okay say I'm okay I'm okay <laughs> All right, I'm gonna jump off. Um, Linda, I'll wait for that video, but thanks for sharing. And um, I'll talk to you like I said. Uh oh, it's going, it's going, it's it's going. I'm gonna try to drink some hot tea now, so later it'll be better. Hopefully, praying. Lisa, I'll call you later as well. Love y'all, mean it much. Um, have a terrific Tuesday, and don't forget to share this live and our be a uh, birthday fundraiser, birthday anniversary fundraiser. Have an amazing morning.